Hello everyone, Andy Raphael from eTechniques.com here and today, we've said this in many videos now, is all about the 7000 series from AMD. So they've released two new cards today, the 7750 and the 7770. Now we have explained in some of our other videos what that's all about um, and if you want to check them out, feel free to do so. Today is um, obviously a big day for AMD as well as its partners. And what we've actually got today is one of the partners, HIS or High Tech Digital, um, they've actually released their version of the 7750. Now, obviously AMD have got their reference design, HIS have taken things a little bit further and strapped on an eye cooler. Um, so this is one of their famous coolers um, that's been out on the market uh, for a little while now. And with the eye cooler, it's said really to reduce temperatures and reduce noise output. And they are saying <coughs> a quoted less than 28 decibels in 2D mode. So that's quite interesting to see straight away and uh, what we'll actually do is we won't talk too much about um, sort of what AMD have done today because we have talked about that in other videos. Instead we'll get straight into unboxing the uh, HIS card which is here. So HIS 7750, we'll get straight into unboxing it, taking a look at the card, see what it has to offer and then we can uh, have a look at what sort of benchmark results this card is actually getting um, in all of our normal benchmark tests. So uh, stay tuned and we'll have that up for you. Uh, any second now. So everyone, um, firstly let's take a quick look at the box and we'll get it unboxed and have a look at the card itself. So it follows the same sort of design that HIS have used for a while with this Excalibur in the middle. Um, AMD Radeon comes with AMD Affinity support, PCI Express 3.0, 1 gig of GDDR5, it's got HDMI and it comes with the online premium support and AMD Radeon graphics. So nothing too spectacular there but it tells you everything that you need to know. Turning the box over, we can see that some of the main features are listed again. 1 gig of GDDR5, PCI Express 3.0, um, effective support full protection, exactly what comes included in the box. And the other side just talks through um, what a PCI Express uh, connector looks like in comparison to a PCI and AGP. On the back, it tells you all about the power of HIS, which talks about that Excalibur on the front. Um, some of the main features of AMD again, DirectX 11 support, um, and really sort of the system specifications as well. Now, a lot of people ask this on, on our graphics card videos, um, if they could use this particular card with X amount power supply. You probably can use it with a less lesser power supply, but they do tell you 400 watts or greater power supply is recommended, 500 watts or greater recommended for AMD Crossfire. Now, this card does do Crossfire, but it doesn't require a Crossfire adapter, which is a uh, all good because it literally is sort of a, a plug and play technology. Now I'm going to attempt to to get this out of the box one handed which is always a fun chore to do. So it's never easy to get a box out one handed especially when you're holding a camcorder. So inside we get another box, a, a little black box. Now opening this box up we can see exactly what comes included inside. Now we will warn you there's not a max amount in here but for this type of card and who it's aimed at what sort of things do you need. So you get a brief little uh, leaflet installing the graphics card into a PCI Express slot. You also get a DVI VGA adapter. Still not quite sure why they're bundling these in. I guess some people still have got VGA. And then sandwiched in between all this foam is the graphics card itself. So if we uh, attempt to get it out of there, once again one handed, we can have a look at the card in a little bit more detail. So this is the graphics card itself and as you can see there's not a mass amount on it really. It is quite a simple low profile design. Uh, it uses one expansion slot in your case but the cooler itself does sort of protrude over that ever so slightly. Now the cooler is something that we've actually been quite interested in because not only is it meant to offer obviously decent temperatures and things like that as well as uh, obviously low acoustics but this can actually be taken off and we do know that Sapphire have actually developed a card that is run passively, a 7750 passive edition. So we are wondering obviously if this cooler can be taken off of there and just left with the aluminium heatsink uh, which is underneath. So it would be interesting to see if we, uh, if we get round to testing it and seeing what sort of temperatures we can get under load with uh, a passive solution so once we actually take this fan off. Other than that you can see that the PCB um, is pretty much sort of you know quite bare there isn't a mass amount on it which we saw with other cards like the 7770 there was a, a lot of PCB space with not much on it. 
But uh, as you can see, there is no um, external PCI Express power connectors needed and no crossfire adapter either, but this card can be crossfired through use of the motherboard. Now, looking on the back, nothing really uh, too extravagant, but we can see exactly where the uh, cooler bolts in from this side. And if you want to check out what this looks like underneath the cooler, um, check out our written review because we will uh, actually strip down the card and take the cooler off. Now looking at the back expansion slot, we can see that we've got a uh, dual link DVI connector, HDMI and a full size display port as well. And this card does support uh, AMD Ifinity as well. So you've got lots of facilities to uh, sort of stretch your workload there. Obviously in gaming, a card like this 7750, you're not going to be expecting fantastic results when gaming at 5760 by 1080 but um, it can increase your workloads when you're using 2D applications, that kind of thing. So that's pretty much the overview on the card, and we've explained a little bit about what's actually happening today in terms of the releases. What we're actually going to do now is get this straight into our system, get it benchmarked, and uh, put the results up for you. <clears throat> so um, stay tuned, and we'll get the results up and uh, tag it onto the end of this video.